Number two, the spirit of Elijah. Sila prandus ke baharia koshi The spirit of prayer and supplication. Now, watch this. The Bible tells us that it was at a time when the prophets of Baal seemed to be reigning over the territory. And the prophets of God had to go in hiding. Why? Because of a spiritual system that was antagonistic to God's program captured in a woman called Jezebel. Are we together now? That Jezebel was an extension of a spiritual system that is antichrist. It's carried many names. Babylon, Jezebel. Now, Jezebel is a spirit that cannot be activated until she's connected to government. Because the character of the spirit of the Antichrist is that it wants government, the place of influence and authority. So now Jezebel is married to Ahab. Are we together now? And the prophets of Baal are excelling under her leadership. Suddenly this man shows up. This spiritual system called Elijah the Tishbite. And the Bible tells us that Elijah is not just a person. Elijah is a spiritual system that foreruns the move of God. Every time God is about to show up in a territory, Elijah must precede him. Elijah is a prophetic and apostolic system that is mandated with several assignments. Number one, to restore the patterns and the ordinances of God. Every time there is decadence within a territory, the spirit of Elijah is required within that territory mandated with the assignment to call men back through genuine repentance to rebuild the altars of God again. Are we together? Before the great and the terrible day of the Lord, Malachi said that Elijah will come again. When Jesus was about to show up, Elijah came again in the person, the spirit and the power of Elijah, John. John the prophet, who we call the Baptist. I think I shared it on this platform if I remember that John was not a Baptist John was a prophet in fact he was a witness through prophecy are we together baptism was a strategy to help him identify the Christ so every a formula was given to him during his time of training that every time you dip them in water keep looking up when you dip you look up and say be on your way this these wicked guys came to distract him because the spirit of the Antichrist kept searching for that seed that will bruise the head of the serpent. And they suspected, it tells you Satan is not as accurate as we have given, we've given him a lot of credit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moses grew up in the same palace at the center of wizardry and yet the eye of witchcraft could not see him. Are we together? So he kept baptizing and then he saw this young man, 30 years old. For 18 years, thereabout, he had disappeared. We don't know what happened. From age 12, the Bible is silent about him. The next time we see him, he's 30 years old, coming to be baptized. And John said, behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world. He says, I'm not worthy to, untouch, to untie even the latchet of your shoe. And Jesus said, suffer it to be so. Now, we're dealing with patterns now. Suffer it to be so that scripture will be fulfilled. When he dipped John in water, John came out and your Bible says, and the heavens opened. They saw the Holy Spirit coming in the similitude of a dove and the father now spoke. This is my beloved son, whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Jesus then began his ministry. John got it right. But I wish we had time, would have learned a lesson from the latter years of John. It was John who ordained Jesus to ministry. But you see, the pain of giving all to God, if you don't die completely, the remaining part of you that is alive will destroy the remaining part of you. See, there were times when God would tell them, destroy everything in a land, kill there is, Whatever you leave else, it will still grow. John said, I must decrease. It was not enough to decrease. The assignment was to die. John decreased. But there was still something in him that was alive and that something began to grow and he said go and tell jesus are you the messiah john what suddenly happened to you did you forget the memory of your ordination this is just about three years 
John, who ordained Jesus to ministry, now became offended. Listen, it is wonderful to decrease, but the assignment is death. It's risky to decrease alone. Because things will happen that will resurrect things that have been dead or that were there but did not die. Are we together now? Yes. He was angry and he sent his disciples. How come Jesus is not even concerned? I'm in prison here. And the disciples came to Jesus. And Jesus began to heal. He blessed people, healed. And he said, go and tell John what you have seen. He said, happy is he who is not offended in me. John, I know the problem. You are not acting out of ignorance. There is something you are saying. You send those messengers with something else. I get the message. Lord, I served you for 30 years. And I do not even have a branch to myself. Make sure you die. Don't just decrease. Are we together? Are we learning something already? Yes. The spirit of Elijah. Now listen. Let me talk a bit on prayer. The spirit of Elijah is also the spirit of prayer and supplication. Not just the spirit, the prophetic spirit that foreruns revival. All through scripture, the price for the move of God has been prayer with fasting. That's why I, I recommended some of this. Not prayer alone. There is something we have done to the fasting part. But it has always been prayer and fasting. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, turning from their wicked ways. It says, I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. Are we together now? James chapter 5, when we read from verse 13, the Bible says, if any man is any man afflicted, Apostle James is teaching now. He says, let him pray. Is that true? And then when you go down from verse 16 down, the Bible began to talk about the confessing your faults to one another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. Then it says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That means it can accomplish much in the spirit. Next verse. Elijah, now the Bible is using a personality to show you the power and the excellency of prayer. That Elijah was a, a man subject to like passion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain over a period of three years and six months. Next verse. The Bible says, and he prayed again. So when the Bible says that you shall bind and lose, he's showing you how it happens. It's not just by saying be bound or be loose. Uh -uh. That we bind and we lose. We allow and we disallow in the place of prayer. All through scripture and all through Bible history, it's been a people who set themselves to pray. Ranatha, come. The spirit and the bride telling the word to come. Show up, oh God, let us see your power and your glory again and again. We need the Lord to raise up prophetic intercessors again. People who are not just concerned about tea and bread and what they desire. Men and women like Anna the prophetess, whose assignment is to pray until they see the consolation of Israel. Anna the prophetess prayed Jesus from the realm of the spirit till he manifested in the physical realm. Are we together? Yes. Study all the revivals that have happened in this nation. They came on the wings of prayer and fasting. Men and women who prayed, Lord show up, come visit your people, manifest your power, let us see your glory again. I assure you that once again we will witness the move of God in a spectacular dimension. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus, they will be saved. The spirit of Elijah restores the patterns. A 
it's a prophetic and apostolic system that foreruns the move of God. That's why I told you Enoch and Elijah are two spiritual systems that if not allowed to find expression within a territory, there cannot be a move of God. The call to intimacy and the call to genuine prayer. Are we blessed? What happens when people pray? There is an outpouring of the spirit. Joel chapter 2. And in the last days I shall pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Lord, pour out your spirit on all the nations of the earth. Let your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy send us dreams and visions reveal the secrets of your heart Lord faith is rising let creation see the coming of your name there's gonna be a great awakening oh this will happen there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus they will be Is secure for apostasy and the deviation. Are we together now? When people contend for intimacy and the patterns of God are restored through prayer and fasting, the response from heaven, number one, is an outpouring of the spirit of revelation. The body of truth allocated for the manifestation of power, grace, and the possibility of the kingdom first Peter chapter 2 and verse 9 calls it marvelous light marvelous light the spirit of revelation coming corporately not just upon individuals but corporately upon the body of Christ within a sphere and within a territory Ephesians chapter 3 when you read from verse 9 down to 21 Paul was talking about the spirit of revelation the grace that can make all men see revelation is important because it will help us through the revelation of the word we will be able to discern error we will be able to discern apostasy a deviation from the known patterns of God And then there will be an outpouring of greater levels of the anointing now this is very powerful please listen so this is what I'm teaching that for you to experience the move of God in any territory number one Enoch a call to intimacy a call to hunger and the pursuit of God number two Elijah the spirit and supplication are we together now that calls men back through prayer to authorize heaven because the heaven of heaven belongs to the Lord but the earth has he given to the sons of men it will take men calling upon the name of the Lord from the earth and when that happens there is an outpouring the response from heaven is number one the outpouring of the spirit of revelation 
this is what is beginning to happen so you see that there are teaching priests arising are we together it's a response to that prayer let me tell you this whether or not you know i met a woman i think it was in enugu or so i met this great woman very humble woman just 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 let me know what happens to people when they are truly yielded i met this woman after a conference and then she began to tell me about the marvelous work pastor daily my goodness and my god i was almost going on my knees and say madam pray for me or oh, you came for counseling but i think i'm the one who needs the counseling she just came to receive an impartation and to receive prayer and when she was done telling me she has a camp a prayer camp and the kind of intercession and prayer for nations many of the people you see standing strong today they may not know the altars that support them but there are people who have been burdened to ensure that they stand and some of these people are nameless faceless people you may not see some of them on tv they are not the joshua selmans and so we are beguiled to think that those that will know a bit are the ones that are doing much the day we stand before god will be surprised because before we stand on the queue of honor and reward we'll be surprised at how backward some of us will be there are certain people you will see an old mama that did not do much but that woman spent her life making sure we stand these are the people who will receive honor that is befitting their sacrifice you will never receive a crown for what you didn't labor for no there are seven crowns according to scripture 